Hi, today we are going to learn complexity of algorithm. There are two types of complexity, time complexity and space complexity. Time complexity is mean how long computation takes to execute for a particular algorithm. If there is a problem and you have designed some algorithm for that problem, now I am going to calculate how long it takes to execute on a particular input. So that is a time complexity. In Turing machine, the time complexity is this could be measured as a number of moves which are required to perform computation. So total number of moves in a Turing machine is known as time complexity. For example, if there is a tape and read and write head moves three cells. So it's three times it moves one, two and ask it, it read something and end. So it is a time complexity, number of moves. In a computer, the number of machine cycle in the RAM normally programs runs in the RAM. So number of machine cycle in RAM is known as time complexity. So time complexity means how long computation take to execute. Another complexity is space complexity. Obviously the moment a program run, it takes how fast it can run or what amount of space memory is required for running that algorithm. So second is space complexity which is how much storage is required for computation and in Turing machine number of tape squares are used. In Turing machine we represent these squares as a storage where we put some sigma values a b b so total number of squares or cells used for running a algorithm that is a space complexity or in computer number of bytes used obviously in the ram the moment we run the program it is 1 mb 2 mb memory required 100 mb memory megabyte is required or in KB required for a particular algorithm that is space complexity. How we represent this time complexity? If there is a problem, that problem is solved by a particular algorithm and represented in the function. This function can be classified in several ways like cubic, linear, quality functions and these functions can be represented in asymptotic notation, a most concise form, and that is the complexity form. Three types of used represent asymptotic notation like big O, big theta, and big omega, and some other notations are also there, but most frequently use these notations. So now we are going to learn big O notation for an algorithm. After analyzing a algorithm, we represent in big O notation. For input n, there is a graph. This is for input and this is for time taken by a particular function. If a function grow in 3n square plus 6, if there is algorithm and that algorithm is represented in a function and the function grows 3n square plus 6. Its big O notation would be big O n square. So how we can find it? There is a relation for the function f of n. There should be a constant value c and a function g of n. And c g of n should be greater than or equal to f of n on a particular value of c and there should be a threshold value n not on after that c of g of n would be greater than f of n for example 
f of n is 3n square plus 6. I have taken c as a 5 and g of n is n square. So 5n square is greater than equal to 3n square plus 6 on some n naught value after some no n naught value. If I put n equal to 1, what will be the answer? 5 is greater than or equal to 3 plus 6. So which is 9. So 5 is not greater than or equal to 9. This means n naught cannot be a 1. So if n equal to 2, it is 2 to the power 4, 4 multiplied by 5, 20 is greater than or equal to 2 to the power 4, 4, 3, 12, 12, 6, 18. So now it is greater than equal to 3n square plus 6. So n naught can be a 2. So for n naught greater than or equal to 2 and c equal to 5, we can say that 5n square is greater than or equal to 3n square plus 6 for all n is greater than or equal to 2 and c equal to 5. That is c equal to 5. So now we can represent it in f of n equal to g of n I have taken as n square so it is we go n square. Similarly we can say if I will take g of n as n cube will it be a big O notation? Yes this satisfy the equation so it can be a big O notation n cube n power 4. But we take least upper bound values, that's why we represent f of n equal to big O n square. This is the representation of time complexity of a particular algorithm. Thank you.